Today we are going to be looking at writing equations of quadratics. So we are going to be taking basically the idea that we've been doing with graphing quadratics and we are now going to do that in reverse. So if we are given a graph of a quadratic, we are going to consider the key features we needed to be able to graph it. Okay, we're just going in return. So things that we need to consider are what direction does this parabola open? So this parabola opens up. And we know if a parabola opens up, then we know that this has an A value of positive one. The other piece of important information is how much this parabola has been shifted from the origin, right? How many it's gone right and left and up and down. And we know that the vertex is what identifies how far it's been shifted. So the next thing we're going to identify is we're going to find the vertex of this parabola. Remember, the vertex is the high point or the low point. So in this parabola, it is a low point. And we're just going to name this ordered pair. So this is the ordered pair positive 3, negative 4. So our vertex is 3, negative 4. This tells us that our h value is 3 because our vertex is always h comma k. So our h is going to be 3 and our k is going to be 4. So we can then take our a, h, and k and now plug them into our vertex form and replace their corresponding values. So we know that our a is 1. The big rule here is that if you are given a blank for your a value, don't leave it blank because Right, we don't have to write a positive one there, but if there's a blank, fill it in with a number so that I know what it is. Then we're gonna do x. Now remember, our h value always looks the opposite of what it is because of this sign. So it's x minus three. So right, our h is three, but it looks like a negative three. That's because of the sign in our formula. Now we're gonna do plus k, so plus negative four, but instead of writing plus negative four, Right, if we had this as a plus negative four, we would really just write this as a minus four. And so our equation for this parabola would, would be y equals one times x minus three squared minus four. So if we look at our next one, again, we're gonna identify the important features that tell us our a, h, and k. So this parabola opens down and we know when a parabola opens down that its a value is going to be negative one. Now, we know that this one opening down has a high point. Our vertex is up here. This vertex is the ordered pair negative one, positive three. Negative one, positive three. Again, the vertex is h comma k, so we know that our h is negative one and our k is positive three. So we can now take these values and we can plug them into our formula. So we'll say y equals a, our a value is negative one, times x, now we're doing x minus negative one. Again, if we end up with subtracting a negative, that's really adding a positive, so we'll put a plus one. And just like we saw before, this looks like a positive one, but right, our h value is actually negative one. Again, that's because of the subtraction sign in the formula. Plus k, so plus three. And so our final equation will be y equals negative one times x plus one all squared plus three. Okay, next we're gonna look at how we then take this information and then we write the equation for the graph into standard form. So if we wanna do this in standard form, it's gonna take a little bit more work. To write the equation of a parabola in standard form, our starting point is going to be to write it in vertex form. So we're gonna do the same thing that we just did. We're gonna say that this parabola opens up which means that our a value is going to equal positive one. <clears throat> we are then going to identify the vertex. So our vertex here is positive two, negative one. So if our vertex is two, negative one, we know that our h value is going to be two and our k value is going to be negative one. 
So if we go to plug this into vertex form, if we're writing the equation, remember the word equation means we are writing an equal sign. So we have to say y equals our a value, which is one, excuse me, excuse me, times x minus h, which is two squared, plus k, so we'd say plus negative one, so if we're adding a negative, we're really subtracting one. So I have y equals one times x minus two squared minus one. We are then going to take this equation that we get in vertex form, and we are going to turn it into standard form. To do that, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to have to do the binomial squared. So if we think back to our polynomial unit, if we have x minus 2 squared, that really says to write it twice. So we need to do x minus 2 times x minus 2. So we are going to start multiplying these out using our distribu d double distributing. So we'll say x times x is x squared x times negative 2 is a negative 2x. Then we'll distribute our negative 2. So negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. And so when we multiply these, we get an x squared minus 4x plus 4. Our second step is going to be to distribute the number in front. Right, so we really have all of this times a one in front. Now the good news for us is that if we distribute a one, we end up with the exact same thing. So that just becomes an x squared, oops, that should be minus a four x plus a four. And then our last step is going to be to combine like terms. I guess I didn't space this well, but. Okay, so we are going to subtract this one that we have left on the end. So our like terms are right here. So we have four minus one. So that will give us an x squared minus four x plus three. This is an equation, so it has to say y equals. And this will be our final answer in standard form. So we're going to look at our next one here. And we're going to do the exact same idea. So we are going to start by identifying our a, h, and k. So this parabola opens down. So that tells us that our a value is going to be negative 1 our vertex. So this is the ordered pair negative 4, negative 3. So that tells us that our h value, our h value is negative 4, our k value is negative 3. Right? Negative 4, negative 3 is our vertex, and that's h comma k. So that's my h and my k. So I'm now going to plug that into my vertex form. So I'm going to say y equals negative 1, times x minus h squared. So I'm saying x minus negative 4. If I'm subtracting a negative, I'm really adding a positive. So that's going to be x plus 4 squared plus negative 3. If I'm adding a negative 3, I'm really subtracting 3. So I'll have y equals negative 1 times x plus 4 squared minus 3. To now turn this into standard form, I first need to deal with my binomial squared. So now I'm going to take my x plus 4, and I'm going to multiply it times x plus 4, because x plus 4 squared says to write it twice. So x times x gives me x squared. x times 4 gives me a 4x. And I'm going to go to my other number to distribute, my other term, so now I'm going to distribute my 4. 4 times x is a 4x. And 4 times 4 is 16. 
So that will give me an x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now I need to d deal with distributing. So the number in front up here is a negative 1. And this time that does make a difference. So now when I distribute my negative 1, negative 1 times x squared is a negative 1x squared. Negative 1 times 8 is going to be a negative 8x. Negative 1 times a 16 will be a negative 16. And then for my final step, I need to combine my like terms. So my last term up here is my negative 3. So I'm going to combine these right here because those are like terms. So a negative 16 minus 3 will give me a negative 19. It's an equation, so I need a y equals negative 1x squared minus 8x minus 19.